Hello everyone. In this video, we will be seeing how to handle different alerts in Selenium, different JavaScript alerts. During testing on any web page, we see different alerts like alert box over here. I have created a testing page uh, in DZ Learn site over here. Uh, yesterday, we saw how to work with the pop up browsers, and today, we will be seeing how to handle alerts so let me show you to you quickly what I mean by alert over here when I click it's going to pop up one window kind of a thing but it is not a part of web browser it is something apart from the browser which cannot be directly handled by the selenium in terms of finding the locators and all that so this has to be handled differently uh, it's an alert it says uh, there is a message over here and there is ok button so when I say handle the alert, it means we might need to get the message over there, whatever is displayed and uh, we might need to click the buttons which are present on the alert. So this is the first type of alert, which is a message displayed and there is OK button. Second type of alert is confirmation box. Like uh, this is the second type of alert. When I click on this, it says a confirmation box with do you want to confirm your seat? click OK or click cancel if we click OK then a message appears you clicked OK and your seat is confirmed so this is the second type of alert that we'll see how to handle and there is third type also for which I have created a HTML code it's a prompt box and the difference is in the prompt box there is uh, something where user can enter the details also if if program requires some input from the user like input box in VB scripting something similar to that so when I click on the prompt box it gives me a chance to enter the details for example I enter Desinia and click OK it just accept that input so this is the third type of uh, JavaScript alert so three things we are going to see how we can handle first is alert box normal alert box second is confirm and third is the prompt we have created one class for this and in the beginning we are setting the property for Chrome driver and this particular line will instantiate the Chrome driver let us use driver dot get to navigate to the testing page where we'll be seeing alert boxes Okay, once we land on that page, we want to create the alert. Now, in order to create the alert, we want to click on the button. Like this is the button which you want to click. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to go to Firefox because over there we can use Firebug and all. And the inspection will be better. So this process you can follow in the real time also even if you are creating a test script on chrome it's fine if you use firefox for inspection of elements and whatever locators you create you can very well use them on chrome browser also so let me activate the firebug activate the inspector over here and click on the alert box so this is a button and the name of the button is alert box what we can do is we can use the text of the button to create the X path in this case so double forward slash button and text equals to this is the text which we want to copy and use for X path and yes it is saying one matching node it means this particular X path is fine for this button let me copy it and let us use it with the driver driver dot find element by x path and this is the x path which we just copied I want to click on the button now once I click on the button alert gets displayed now that is not required but let me add some thread dot sleep uh, just for you to see uh, during the execution thread dot sleep just two seconds 
so 2000 milliseconds and of course it requires a throws declaration now here is the main part of today's session how to handle the alert now in the last session we saw when we were working on the uh, browser pop-up new browser that gets popped up how to handle those so we used to switch to the new browser and then driver can work on the objects or elements on the new browser over here also same thing we just need to switch to the alert pop-up once we switch, uh, switch to the alert pop-up uh, some of the elements are accessible not like we can uh, use the xpath or css path of the object but there are certain uh, predefined methods which we can use by using we will be able to confirm the alert or decline the alert or try to send keys to enter the details all those things so to do that we will have to use alert class this is the class we will have to use alert and you can use any object is equal to driver dot switch to dot alert now when we use this alert we will have to import it this is the name of the object we can use any name now what will happen whenever this statement gets executed on the driver if any alert is present the focus of the driver will be switched to the present alert or active alert whatever is there once we have the focus all we can do is we have a method like accept or dot decline which is dismiss and if alert is something like prompt where user needs to enter some details in that case alert dot send keys and whatever keys we want to send we can put it over there so in this case for the first alert these two things are not required so let me comment those and again add some weight over here so that we can see alert is accepted and after waiting for two seconds let me quit the driver so what we have done we launched chrome went to this particular website on that there was a button which we clicked and that button generates an alert we switched driver to that alert and this is the main part this alert is the class we just we imported now this class will give us the ability in terms of this object to work on the different types of alerts so very basic thing which we'll see in the first and let me run it okay so alert has appeared and now uh, it clicked on ok button and it has dismissed the alert now when it comes to the second type of alert which is confirm let me do the same thing again inspect the confirm sit it also has just text so I will try to use the same kind of xpath only I will change the text over here so it will click on the confirm seat button in this case but the confirm seat has two buttons there are two actions which we can take on this which is ok and cancel so we can accept or which we can uh, with cancel we can dismiss it so let us try to dismiss the alert also in this case and for that purpose let me comment accept because if we accept it is just going to do the same thing that it did in the previous part in case of dismiss now it is going to click the cancel button so let me execute it and let me try to increase the wait time because last time it kind of got executed pretty quickly and we couldn't see much okay so it clicked on confirm 
and it clicked cancel and see the error message over here or the message whatever displays it is you pressed cancel now along with this when we want to retrieve the text of alert what we can do simply is before before we take any action on the alert just try to use alert dot get text and this will just get the text from the alert and now we are displaying it in the system so let us try to execute it again okay and this is the text on the alert do you want to confirm your seat before leaving this page so this is what is the text displayed on the alert so in case of both the alerts like the normal alert box or the confirm box you can retrieve the text and also in the third type which is now we are going to move to it the third type of alert that is prompt box also we can retrieve the text just by using alert dot get text so I'm going to leave it as is over here and let us move to the third part of alerts now for this I have created some HTML code and it is going to click on prompt box and a prompt box something like this will be displayed where we can enter the details and those details will be accepted of course if we click okay then only details will be accepted if we deny or decline the alert then details will not get accepted so all i need to do is just change the web page over here and we need to inspect it and inspect the thing so it is again a button and same thing i can use so all i need to do is just change the x path by changing the name of the button over here and it will click on that button once it clicks an alert will be generated now prompt box we will switch to the alert will get the text but this time before accepting the alert now let us try to accept it because if we dismiss whatever text we are going to enter that will not be shown so before accepting the alert let us try to put some text into the text box over there so alert dot send keys so simple send keys uh, something like this I want to send let me add some weight in between because we should see what the text is entered when the program executes and then it will accept it and then we will quit the browser so let me run it yes the alert is displayed okay it entered the designer text and it accepted so you can see the text designer and this is the please enter your name was the text of the alert which was displayed over there